waka waka Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing 10 easy metal riffs. Now, because of copyright reasons, I can't tell you what they're called, but if you go over to my Instagram account, I've put a set list up there so you can check them out. And also you'll be able to find a link uh, for a PDF that you can download and it's got the intro tabs on for you. Okay, so we'll go over there and check it out. I've also put some links below, so check them out. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. Here we go, so riff number one. So three on the bottom E. Now notice I'm using the first three fingers, so it starts on the A string, seven, eight on the D string, nine, also on the D, back to eight. So, O, 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 okay, and that's, then we go up to the seventh fret on the A string. And then nine on the A, eight on the D, seven also on the D, and then eight on the A, seven on the D, and six. And that just repeats, okay. Riff number two. So it starts off with four power chords. The first one's E. And then... Okay, so that's just D. D flat and C. Okay, and the first one, you want to make sure you mute it afterwards. And then that hangs. Then it goes into the main riff. So super slow, and this is all on the bottom E string. O, O, 12, O, O, 11, O, O, and then just like in the beginning, 10, 9, 8, so it's D, D flat, C, and then it continues down, O, O, 7, O, O, 6, O, O, 5, and then there's one O, O, 4, O, 3, O, oh, two, one. If I put that together slow. Okay, and so on, all right? Riff number three. Okay, so I'm starting off with the notes on the bottom E string. One, three, one, and then I'm doing this power chord. So that's an F power chord, down to E. And notice I mute it every time. Mute. Okay. One, three, one. F, E, E. F, E, E. One, three, one. F, E, E. So you can either do the notes there or as you saw me do it. 
I just do the chords. Same as the notes, except you always tail this third finger like in a normal power chord, okay? Riff number four is a fast one. So these riffs are easy, but they do take a bit of work, okay? So if I play it super slow, so what I'm doing there, I'm just going on the A string, oh, one, two, two, two. And already I've got my third finger on the D string in the fourth fret ready to go to play that power chord. And I'm just playing those two strings, the A and the D. Okay. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. So to get that really quick, I'm doing a little down up. Down up down. Down down down. Da 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 da. So you notice when I play the power chords, I stop muting. So I don't mute at the beginning, and then I'm on the mute. So you might want to get comfortable with that first, okay? Where I'm just resting my palm on the strings. If you got that, you're too close. If they're not muting at all, you're too far back. It goes much faster than that. Riff number five. This is a classic riff. So it starts on the A string, seven. So instead of playing that, I actually do a little pull off there. Seven, 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 pull off to five, play seven on the bottom E string. Now that same technique happens five to three. Same technique again, except instead of using the third finger, I'm using the second finger. Okay, so slowly. So what I'm doing then, I'm sliding two to five, flattening my finger, so I end up playing five on the D, five again on the A, and finishing seven. bit of vibrato on the end. Riff number six. So this one I'm holding down an E power chord or you can just do the again I'm palm muting you see this a lot in metal. Okay one two three four five six seven and then I play this so first fret on the A string, third fret on the D. Just play those two strings, the A and the D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then no, no palm in, okay? And it happens again, just before the end, so. All right, and that's the first half. And then the second half, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. So then what we're doing, we're going over to the D string and we're playing the second fret on the D and the fourth fret on the G. Those 
two middle strings. And then play the first chord again, okay? Okay, riff number seven, by far probably the fastest and most difficult riff. But again, with a bit of practice, it can be really easy. So you can just do, if you're a beginner, you can just do the first half of this riff, okay? So that's kind of like the first riff. Some people play it, that's kind of like the bass line. Um, some people play it just on the A string. So the, the, the strumming can be quite confusing. I'm actually hitting two strings at the same time, okay? I've got my first finger ready on the fifth fret on the A and my third finger on the seventh fret also on the A and I'm playing the E and A together. And so the rhythm is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So I remove my, first thing, my third finger to play on the first at the fifth fret. If I go super slow, just on the A string down this next bit is a little bit trickier down, up, down, up, down, up and then we do this condescending pattern so it's it's a power chord, it's an E power chord at the 7th fret on the A and D string. So there's the first chord, and then what you do, you put your 2nd finger down. Sorry. And then remove your 2nd finger and play two strings, the, the A and the D, with your 1st finger. So it's... So if you put that together... Okay. So it's kind of got two feels. Now the first feel is going to be like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, down on the chord. The second feel is going to be like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's kind of the, the meat and bones of it, okay? Okay, so the, the way of thinking about it is when you play the chord, the first time is down, down, down. The second time is down, up, down. And it'll give you two different feels. Now if you put part one and part two together, So like I said, it's a fast one. Play it nice and slowly, gradually bring it up to speed. Now riff number eight and riff number nine and riff number 10, we have to do something different. We have to change the bottom E string to D. So you're gonna have to get your tuner out, okay? And you could see me, I'm using my D string for a reference and it just means I tune down. Make sure you tune super slow if you're not confident with tuning. You don't want to break any strings, okay? Super, super slow. So if I tune back up, I'll show how far it is. So it's almost one turn. Okay, there's my E now. There's my D. Watch how I turn it.
Okay, I'm going to go around and just bring it back up a little bit. There you go, okay? But check it with your tuner. So that's what we call a drop D. Now, those bottom three strings are a chord. They're D, okay? So riff number eight. Very famous riff here. So it starts off open E, over onto the A string, hammer on, three to five. Then you've got two X's. That just re represents a down, down, or a down, a down, down, or a down, up, okay? I do a little down, up. But it's a down, up without any notes. So it's just muted. All right, you don't have to do that in the beginning, though. If you can't quite get the rhythm, put it in later on. So super slow. O, three, five. Then over to the D string. And I do three to four hammer on. Then I use my third finger to play the fifth fret on the A string. Let's do that super slow. And then finally, we just got these power chords open, bottom two strings. Second fret, so use your first finger to cover those bottom two strings. Hammer on to three. Play two again, and go back to the beginning. Okay, so riff nine, in drop D tuning, starts off, I put my first finger in the seventh fret on the A string, and my pinky wants to be able to get up to the 10th fret. Okay, and I'm going seven, 10, and back to seven. Now this is all palm muted again, okay, I'm resting my palm. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go seven, 10, 7, 8, 7. Da, 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 da. 7, 10, 7, 8, 7. So the last time it just goes 7, 10, 7, 8. So you have to think of it as kind of three riffs. The first one just repeats. And the third one is just like, it cuts off at the end. So, seven, 10, seven, eight, seven. Seven, 10, seven, eight, seven. Seven, 10, seven, eight. Okay, and it starts again. Notice I'm doing down ups on this hand as well, okay? Down up, down up, down, down up, down up, down, down up, down up, down up, down up, down. That's how you get it quick, okay? Then it goes into the waka waka, which I'm sure you know what, what it is. If you don't, then you need to start doing some Googling. Now it's the same thing. Okay, but now I'm playing it in power chords. Now, in order to get the power on it, because my fingers aren't that strong. On the acoustic, I'm trying to cover these bottom two or bottom three strings. Okay, and all I'm doing, two, five, two, three, two. Two, five, two, three, two. Two, five, two, three. 
and it repeats. So it's very much like the beginning section, but now it's just got heavier in power chords. <laughs> So riff number 10, probably one of my favorite riffs. It's kind of got that Middle Eastern feel about it, okay? Now, again, you can cover the bottom three or the bottom two strings for this one, and it simply goes three, two, oh. Five, three, two, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, O. Oh. Now I have done a full lesson on this. If you know what you're looking for and I do the full intro so you can check that out on my channel as well I'll just do a quick search so there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, check out the links and I'll see you again the same time next week, enjoy.